10 tips to instantly calm any cat. There are a few techniques which aren't rocket science but will enable you to calm almost any cat in almost any situation. It doesn't matter what breed they are or if they have a particularly aggressive personality. The tips below just work. Whatever the reason, you want your cat to trust you. The tricks and tips I describe below will send signals to your cat that tell it you are not a threat. You will be showing it that you mean it no harm. Your cat should relax a little and you should see the results of this immediately. How to calm a cat. It's not really that complex. All you need to do is behave as a cat would towards an aggressive cat if it didn't want to appear as a threat. We're applying natural cat behavior to the situation. The first two steps we describe are known as the SLOBLY technique when used in combination. This stands for slow blink and yawn. One blink slowly towards a cat. If you only take one thing away from this video this point should be the one. It's amazing how many cat lovers that I know have never heard of this technique. We love this particular technique so much. It is the one thing that helps all owners bond with their cats too. You will notice if you watch out for it carefully. That when you look at your cat. It may blink slowly and possibly then look away. This is your cat telling you that you shouldn't see them as a threat in any way. If you have a cat. Go and try this now. When a nervous cat looks at you it will try to determine whether you are a threat or not. If it has any doubt. It will assume you are a threat. What you need to do is convince it that you are not. So. When a cat stares at you. Do the following. 1. Slowly close your eyes whilst still facing it and keep them closed for about 2 seconds. 2. Open your eyes as slowly as you closed them. 3. Wait a couple of seconds and divert your attention to something else. But do all of this slowly with no sudden movements. Repeat these steps every single time your cat looks at you and remember to keep things nice and slow. I have been using this technique with my own cats for years and also with other cats. When you do it you can almost see them becoming less stressed and anxious right in front of you. 2. Yawning when looking at your cat. If an aggressive cat is staring down another cat, you will never see it yawn. By yawning in front of your cat, I bet you're yawning right now. Just thinking about it, you are demonstrating your lack of threat. Watch your cat's reaction when you do this. It will focus entirely on you as you do it. Combine this with a slow blink and occasionally looking away. As you yawn, close your eyes which will help your cause. Try not to make a loud noise like some people do when they yawn. Make it a nice silent one. 3. Don't stare. Occasionally look away. Never stare at a cat that's feeling stressed and anxious. This feeds nicely into the last point actually. Look at them. Yes. But don't stare at them. If the cat is looking at you. By all means. Look at it back. But do occasionally look away. Again. Keep everything really controlled and slow and make no sudden movements. What this is demonstrating to your cat is that your focus is not directly on it. You are showing it that you are not considering attacking it and you aren't particularly interested in bothering it. 4. Roll onto your back. When a cat rolls onto its back, it is not an invitation for you to tickle it. That may be what it looks like but don't be fooled. With his little paws tucked in you would think that this is a certain invite for you to give him a little cheeky tickle. But don't be fooled. If you fall into their trap which I bet you already have done then your hands will be grabbed by their paws in a matter of nanoseconds and you will not come out of it without some damage. What a cat is actually doing here acting in a submissive manner in front of you. Often they will do this as you approach and it is a sign that they trust you and don't see you as a threat in any way. So, that's great, but what does this have to do with you calming them down? You probably wouldn't see this behavior on a cat you're trying to relax anyway, so mimic their behavior. Don't try and do it too close to your cat but relatively near them, they obviously have to see you otherwise you're going to look pretty stupid, slowly roll onto your back and impersonate your cat. Yes, you're going to feel silly but what you're doing is showing that you're no threat to them. This really works so if you can get over how you might look. Do give it a go. 5. Let them come to you. Don't try and force the issue with a cat. Give them space and don't crowd them. They will feel intimidated if they keep getting approached by people. You will be able to do this eventually but not at the outset if they are very anxious. Always let a cat make the first move. Just get down on their level. Follow the ideas I've mentioned above. And don't pay them much attention. The idea behind this is that they will become more comfortable with you over time. So, just sit on the floor. Minding your own business for a bit. Then, after a while, get up and just get on with stuff. 
repeat and eventually, you will find they become more comfortable in your presence. This is because they no longer will be able to associate you with any kind of threat as they will have become more accustomed to you. 6. Don't follow them. If cats don't want to do something, don't try and force them. Don't pick them up and plonk them somewhere if you don't think they want to be there. If you're having fun with them and they wander off, don't follow them. If they want to leave then there's a reason for it. If for whatever reason, they want to go somewhere that they'll feel more secure they need to know that they can do that alone. Remember, a cat is allowed to follow you, which, if you have a Maine Coon you will be well aware of but you aren't allowed to follow them. Rules are rules. 7. Remain calm. Cats can become nervous easily and although some are more nervous than others, generally they don't feel comfortable with people who make a lot of noise. This is the reason why they are usually not so comfortable with kids. Cats don't like unpredictable movements combined with noise and well. This kinda describes children perfectly. Right. When near a nervous cat, you should always remain calm, no sudden movements and no loud noises. This is why training children is so important. Teach your children about your cat's feelings and needs and how they should behave around them. A child will often forget or ignore you and run around anyway but over time. Hopefully, they'll get the message. It won't be easy and it won't always work but if you can communicate the importance of this to your kids. Especially if a cat is nervous, it will really help them out. 8. Bribe them with treats. I don't mean bribe your kid's slightly smiling face although that does sometimes work. I mean occasionally you can improve the bond between yourself and your cat if you have a little incentive. Keep some treats handy and if you're sitting nearby and the nervous cat doesn't seem too keen on approaching, try enticing them with some treats. Put some on the floor near them and if they seem interested and willing, try and get them to take one from your hands. 9. Give them somewhere to go. A nervous cat will want to be able to escape sometimes and climbing somewhere high is often appealing to them. Being up high and able to see what's going on below gives cats a sense of safety. One of the best things you can do is buy a cat tree. This will allow your nervous cat to adopt the high ground where it will feel safe and also provide it with places to hide. 10. Use diffusers. A cat bases many of its feelings of security on the scents it detects in its home. Unfamiliar scents or those of other animals can prove a real hindrance to your cat's progress when it comes to settling in. There are several pheromone diffusers that aim to mimic a cat's own scent to help it feel at home. I've had mixed results with this method but I've heard so many good things about its use that I've decided to include it here. The scent emitted from diffusers can make your cat feel more calm and relaxed. It can be great in environments where other animals may have been, or indeed to use before a new kitten or cat enters your home for the first time.